Please don't touch anything. Don't touch! <laughs> don't touch the painting! I, was, I wasn't going to! Not that's the bait! Do not touch the paint then. She's like, as long as they're alive, you cannot it's die. Oh my god. have to kill the parasites. She's like, can't do that. Uh. I'm doing it for your own good. I would want a refund. A refund. I want a refund. <laughs> you don't want to do what you have to do. I took these sleeping pills to kill myself. Forever. Instead, I got ever-living life. Like... Yeah. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. That's why you check the warranty, the expiration date. <laughs> on your pills. On the dream. On the dream. <laughs> on the dream. The dream you bought with your pills. Let's go inside. No, lady. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Okay, but if, it, if it's anything that... Besides a cat, I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> can't go back. Can't go back. You can't touch the painting! Just don't touch anything! <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Whose sins did Shall I die know? for? <laughs> My cat? I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this I didn't is... even kill myself that way. This you can't exactly even get my mess of down right now. And I then you give me ever living immortality. Here. Make it go. I'm gonna let Spunky out. You can keep Oh, I okay. It would be Just wise continue. to give you a little so taste listen. of the suffering you'd yeah, endure. Yeah, I, mean, I, I want you to understand that you can and, uh, keep going. Oh, oh, you're back. Hey, hey, I wasn't saying anything. Oh, okay. Um, I honestly just, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, anyway, what does she say? Continue this conversation later. I'm dropping, uh, dropping some hot secrets here. 105 point whatever AM. Uh, FK. Is this that's an a, ASMR? That's a radio station for you guys. <laughs> oh, crowbar. Get that crowbar. Yeah. Pull it on out. It's like Silent Hill. <laughs> and now we beat up death. <laughs> You already know she's not dead. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of things you can do with the crowbar. Am I right, five-year-old Timmy? <laughs> Crucified all alone in one place has changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Yeah, I kind of don't want to be here either. I think you're supposed to use the... Oh. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Ugh, fine. Okay. Do I'll you do want. what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. We kind of did it. I, I we're really got <laughs> we're kind of forced to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're going to have a choice. Uh, this idea. Lights I... up. I don't even think, uh, okay. Oh, hey, look, we're back. We're back in the house. Why? Yes, yes we are. But there is something else that must be done. We must touch the You pipe cannot pipe. leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. The door to your we world must sacrifice won't the open. The yes, you make a sacrifice of soul and a sacrifice of blood. It doesn't sound good at it's all. It's fine. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Do we need a soul, some blood, yes, like these no uh, sacrificial candles. Um, yes. like I said, that sounds it's kind of formality. bad. <laughs> Then on your way, I just want it. You you just, to I'm just gonna go to sleep supply. forever. That's kind of what I was expecting, much. actually. Just a bit. Just Enough gonna shed a little bit of blood. And... The door. Just a How much? I exactly. wanted a painless Don't death. That's why I took the pills. It's easy. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? 
Um, I'm really sorry. I love <laughs> playing games. I'm not so much into this kind of lore, cause uh, Lady Maggot here is just gonna be like, uh, something, something evil. Fine. I'm just gonna I'll go ahead that. and just do it. Wish me luck. She's gonna give me excuses. Lady. They're probably gonna I be do. lies. Probably. When you leave my house, head to the field. I like. That's I where like you talk. should yeah. be. Like that. This is probably gonna show up on your audio. <laughs> Goodbye, me, child. me shaking my head. Like <laughs> it might. <that. laughs> I'm not going to be far. I've never been. <laughs> Fuck your camp. Oh, this is how we kill them? No. Oh, this, this is, is what a sacrifice see. of soul is. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. <laughs> oh, oh. How far, like? That's it. See how easy that was. What was with the cost? music? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. I think that's enough for now. No, I've tasted bloodlust. <laughs> that's enough for now. Aw, oh, Susan, <laughs> babe. Really? Really? Don't touch the painting! Okay, fine! <laughs> really? What the? Huh? How did I get back here? <laughs> really? I just love her jiggles. Her best qualities. Her jiggles. Oh, we don't need to do anything to ourselves, I don't think. We still don't know what the other key is for. Yeah, that's very true. Well, probably that one door. Oh, this is different. There's a lot of, um... Symbolances to car crashes and an ambulance. So I'm thinking after we took the sleeping pills, we had second thoughts, got into a car to drive to the hospital or something, got in an accident and died that way. You're immortal though, you're fine. Yeah, we're fine as well. <laughs> it's okay if you crash your car while drugged <laughs> up on pills so long oh, as yeah, you yeah, become yeah. immortal. Who cares about <laughs> anything else? She just needs like a little pimp hat. <laughs> no one will find me behind you. Yeah, yeah, you're totally <laughs> hidden. No one can see you. This is how I hide from death. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, that is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that is like, um, uh, maybe this is a bad person to choose for this job. Or just in the field, like, <laughs> this is locked. Yep. Crowbar! Oh yeah, it's totally use a crowbar. Uh, not the key. Crowbar would have worked. Alright, this is like those spooky flash games. It is a little- this was- yeah, this is me kind of like in a flash thing, but it's a little bit- I would say it's better than that. The- the graphics are not the best. It is a few years old, but it is very good. Oh. Oh, I am not liking this heartbeat. <clears throat> and it gets... When I do my murder mystery games, I like to incorporate the sound of a heartbeat somewhere in there, because it's really unsettling. Yeah, it It's is. a very easy way to unsettle people, even if you're having it, like, very faint. Mm -hmm. If they can, like... If they can detect it, it's very unsettling. Like, it's the easiest way to. Yeah. And I'm feeling it now. I feel like this is karma <laughs> coming back to me. <laughs> I remember one time I accidentally had a heartbeat in one of the soundtracks I was using for one of my games. Yeah, I was it was, it was a was there... It was a Silent Hills track that has yeah. a heartbeat in it at, at one point. I forgot that there was a heartbeat. It was a bad heartbeat, too. And, like, we it all It was a gross up. one, yeah. We had to be like, um, we're scared. We're totally immersed. Please change the song, though. <laughs> I know how games work. You need to crowbar that shit. I played Silent Hill, speaking of. Oh, okay. This is fine. Oh. This is fine. You're fine. We're fine. We're You're immortal. You're fine. Remember, you are, you are immortal. The 
The music for this is actually really good. <laughs> maybe you, I maybe you stop like running around. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> How do I stop the blood flow? <laughs> He had to make a sacrifice of blood, remember? Oh, I can't check out the machine now. Is that, is that as far as you can go? Yeah. I think I... Oh, I closed the door. We're all good. That stopped the draft. Oh, there. You had to bleed on it. Uh, just a few drops of blood. You know, we just... It's just a light pinprick. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Dude, her face. Yeah, well, she I like mean, she's, she's down to party. <laughs> she's ready for that mosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the intro of like a, a horror comedy movie. <laughs> oh, this is, this is wicked. This is really trippy. Yeah. If you want it to watch a movie, that has like a very similar feeling to this. Watch any early George Millet. Millet? It's French, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Okay. Any um George Millet movie. I believe you. His most famous is um A Trip to the Moon. I believe that's what it's called. Okay. It's very psychedelic. It feels it feels very Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. but it's very scary because that's when movies were just becoming a thing. So the special effects and stuff mm -hmm. is very creepy, like creepily, very much like this. It's actually, um, I think Monty Python copies that art style. Oh, okay. Because it's very Monty Python animation, but it's done in a way that's like very unsettling. Yeah. Hey, you made it to the first chapter. Ooh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Second first breath. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. The classic. There's a Second certain first breath. raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail no, to recreate. No, you could recreate. just say, uh, you're alive again. I always yeah. want you're to be an artist myself. But it'll be a long time before Jesus I can Christ. call myself that. <laughs> I often say that patience are my canvas. But my job is more about uh, restoration. I, I can't. I, I, I look don't at remember the damaged if he's one of them. human minds and bring them back to their former You know what pieces. game this reminds me of? Mm. Franbo. I'm sorry. I'm oh, I've played that one. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's mm. very good. Yeah. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay? Uh. You'll probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. I, oh, sassy! Well, she I has a level of sass about her. Yeah. I love Susan. <laughs> She's the old lady I hope to grow into. Yeah. And figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork. Always involved. paperwork. There's, there's always. This is like school yeah. all over again. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. I've seen my school therapist. This is just a formality. And we'll be in there for like maybe an hour, and I'll be like, all right, I think I'm ready to go. And she's like, no, we just gotta... Fine. Gotta like do a know? few more things I'll first, and I'm like, you know, we're right I'll by go the home, cafeteria. Take a long shower <laughs> and catch up on sleep. I am smelling that popcorn, Wonderful. that mac and cheese. Let's tea. see then. <laughs> Where do we begin? It feels like forever you're in there. Oh, you know, I've watched Grey's She's Anatomy. She's awake, Doctor. That's the extent of my legal good knowledge evening. or my medical knowledge. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? We were in a car crash, right? 
No, she this this she just woke up from an overdose. Oh, her overdose. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Susan, Susan Ashworth. I can't remember. Ignore. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like Susan would be mm. sassy. I can see you're very tired and sleepy. It's perfectly normal. You're I'm on the Susan. ward now. Susan Ashworth. Condition is stable. Earlier on, really we did a CT scan. <laughs> Flat out, ignore the doctor. <laughs> All your organs are fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. I'm not sure if a doctor would You might experience extreme tiredness like and that? lethargy yeah. for a couple of days, but good that's Good news. Soon. Your organs are good. Your organs are great. You, great you got, you got <laughs> human <laughs> organs. Please, <let> me know. <laughs> In case you were. Take care, organ. Susan. Yeah. Please don't try to speak. You just asked. What did you say? Like, Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Remember, she oh, yeah, her, arm. her arm. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. She's nice. I like the nurse. Yeah, the nurse is nice. The doctor I'm getting weird vibes from. I'm assuming he's nice. So the, the visit with the doctor, I'm just going to say, because it'll be confusing otherwise, the visit with the doctor takes place after what's going on right now. So that we're, sorry, it's kind Susan. of out of order. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood I'm pressure. I'm Two like seconds and I'm gone. It's okay. We'll my name is Liz, post. by the way. <laughs> I... Oh, my name is Liz. I'm sorry. Hi, Lisa. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. Aww. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you, you what, know, Susan. You kind of just have Can to I call you your job? I'm so sure anyway, being a nurse I shouldn't say lot. it, but it's you know I'm going to anyway. Yeah. You are so lucky. Try to find it's crazy. There, Liz. You doing what you've you done, and lives. her walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. Someone walked in. Yeah. I'm not making worried. any sense yeah. again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Is this ah, the beginning of and Suicide here it is. Squad? <laughs> You've got a good pressure of an 18 year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky. Is that good? I think. And that I hope. I, I think so. I think you've that's changed good. Your mind you can't just things. say weird, arbitrary. Go, but I'll see you, you later. You got the blood of a teenager. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? <laughs> Is like a healthy teenager, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of unhealthy teens. Yeah, that's true. You got the blood of a person. A like your person. organs. <laughs> Thanks, doctor. <laughs> I know there's gonna be a wiggle your way free. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> that's rude? That's rude. Your reaction is that's rude. I just wanted to sleep. I don't want to take my sleeping pills. Bad dream. You could be in our soul, but then again, she's not being in our soul to you, so. Yeah, I'll be up front with her, because I feel like she would appreciate my honesty, and it would probably be a really lame playthrough if I just ignored everyone. Yeah, yeah. a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. Who's the lady from Fallout 3? There's are several ladies from Fallout 3. Which one do you mean in particular? She's kind of crazy. She's like, go research for me. Oh, the the, and the, then later like, she... the shop lady who sends you on like crazy mm -hmm. missions. Like At one mission point, she wants you to jump off a roof to break your leg to see mm -hmm. how what it's like. Then she wants you to go investigate like a super duper mart and it's filled with barrels. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this, this nurse reminds me of her. She's, oh yeah, I can see that. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. <laughs> yeah. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. I had a dream I was burnt alive. She wasn't well at all. Oh, a that woman, just a woman <laughs> actually <laughs> burnt alive! <laughs> just she like yesterday! Crazy! Of oxygen ...through the face mask. Ten she liters of oxygen. Bed, she was told. Oh, but she wouldn't no. listen, of course. 
and as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. Well, that's just a fact. The whole room went up in flames, <laughs> and so did she. Everyone knows the gays are I guess you didn't really flammable. Want to know that, did you? That's just because, like thing. everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when to shut up. That's when we learned that human beings are can catch flammable. Fire. Yeah, they're a bit flammable. I was watching the new series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix. I haven't started watching that yet, but I read all the books. It's so good. Oh, it is it? amazing, and um, Olaf is talking to the kids. It's just a slight spoiler, like. Okay. If you read the books, you know that the yeah. parents die in a fire. And so he's asking them, like, oh, yeah, like, uh, how were your parents? I believe it was Olaf. And the parents are like, they're dead. And <laughs> Olaf is like, something about his mom. Like, they mentioned their mom, and he's like, oh, yeah, she was a wonderful woman. Very flammable. And there's, like, ten, like, like two, three seconds of awkward silence. And he's like, anyway. <laughs> He's like, oh yes, very flammable. yes wonderful yes. woman. I knew of her. Yeah, she was very flammable. flammable. Very flammable. And they're just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Batman would punch the shiz out of you. <laughs> Olaf is played by Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, he's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just the way he, he was the same guy on. who played like that evil villain in that one like sort of uh, theatrical thing where they. Oh. He played like a bad guy. Yeah. And he liked the girl. He's, um, Dr. Horrible, you know? Yes, Dr. Horrible. He's really good at playing bad guys. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, anyway. So he was <laughs> like, Patrick Harris. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, about this honky guy. <laughs> but now he was like, oh yes, your, your mother, wonderful woman. Flammable. 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 And Very I was like, uh, I think most people are Neil Patrick Harris. In <laughs> fact, I'm pretty sure 99% of the human race is flammable. <laughs> what was your name I'm going to flirt with her. I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. Aww, so sorry, she's Susan. Sweet. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. I love her. She nice. reminds oh, me of the... Um, Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries to crazy hours. Abby or Audrey Seriously? from Torchwood? I feel like oh, I've got no yeah, life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. I'll be here till the to morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest <laughs> oh. my legs for two minutes, that's all. Oh, she's so sweet. She is. Is there she's a really flirt sweet. option? Can you romance? <laughs> <laughs> As their romantical, romantable character, um, I would adore well, that. I suppose. Well, I mean, you don't you really do I, flirting in this game, I but like you can, you can picture what you want. I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna picture what I, I want, and Susan, you're gonna be happy in this new life. You're gonna settle down with Elizabeth with your so fifty calm. cats. <laughs> <And> then... <laughs> I was in a field of barley. Ooh, or do I want to bring it back to her? <laughs> See, I want to bring it back to her and include her to let her know that I'm very interested in her. That's okay, the key to flirting. Okay. I All know right. you're not interested in that stuff, but to your <laughs> listeners, you want to you want to bring wanna... you want to acknowledge them and bring it back to them because the more someone feels included and the more you let them talk about themselves, the more a, a, a t attached and attracted they'll feel to you. Okay. So I'm going to be like, I woke up and I saw your beautiful face. I woke up here expertise in and flirting. I saw you. Yeah, oh yeah. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found it's been you. 10 I told years. you that before. <laughs> what? Who found me? Well, that was the only daughter, a temporary of course. Death. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead, Susan. My well, this is, daughter. This is you. Yes. Why? Why did you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? My daughter. I don't have a daughter. All I have is my Whoever daughter. she is, she lied. But was death, was why it? would she do that? How should I know? I was we'll in a coma. The, how should I know? She's not my daughter. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. It was the cat. I didn't ask for any help. It was the cat. <laughs> it was a <the> cat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go home because that would separate me from Elizabeth. <laughs> See, you don't want to <laughs> mention or give any signs that you're disinterested and you don't want to be there. Because even if it's like an honest thing, like earnestly, like, oh, I, I, I'm just really feeling tired. 
they'll take it personally. You never want to be like, um, when can I go? And they'll be like, oh, rude. I'm going to ask how long I've been here and if I can stay further oh, with I Elizabeth. See. I see. This is how we're planning it. It's right. strategic. This is a strategy yeah. game. We're going in the dating simulator with strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the first step is to woo her, let her know that, hey, I'm kind of interested. Then she'll like get in her mind like, oh, this could open up some stuff later on. Then we find the cat. They brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. Dime Ward. I call it Dime Ward. Uh, 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 laugh at the jokes. Laughing at their jokes will make uh, yeah. them feel good about themselves. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Some people would like that. No, I don't want to. You gotta ans ask it. Maybe she won't take it personally, cause she tends not. She seems to not take things. She personal. seems very nice. Yeah. She'll probably yeah. understand, and she'll be like, "All right," but maybe like later on we can be like. But when will they let me go home with you or something <laughs> like that? You so you bring it back around. Uh, yeah. You bring it back around. <laughs> sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. Aww. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. Dr. He won't be able to go home until he's, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Don't stare or he's mention really it. Get into your head. You know now he's going to ask you to join his college. It's really, it's questions. really a school. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. See, this is how you know we made some headway with her because now we got all this open dialogue. Mm -hmm. She shared a secret with us. Mm -hmm. Sharing secrets is a huge sign of trust. Yeah. So now we can probably yes. Tell me something more about yourself. Oh, what did I there say? You go. There we go. Continue we are the flirting. We, we are continuing this. Yourself. Let her know. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hardworking girl. Okay. We, we know that about her. Somehow, we right? can bring up this information room, later to let her know <laughs> we were listening and house. that we're acknowledging and remembering the stuff she tells like us, so that she she feels like what she tells us actually has. At least I think you know, so. merit. Yeah. She's not just talking, and we're, it's just Maybe she works we're not at listening. Night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? Oh, no, she thinks she lives with a you're slipper. right. You're <laughs> a real nurse, not some man's fantasy of one. Or I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know. Okay, now we're sharing. This is where it gets tricky. We're sharing well, the previous love interest, <laughs> the exes. You gotta step lightly here because depending on the person. They're either trying to earnestly open up and share and be like, you know, this is, yeah, this is the stuff and the pain I went through, sharing their pain. Or they're trying to fish to see, like, how many people you've been with. It's really, it's really um hit or miss. So I think with Liz, with Liz here, we're okay in sharing our own experiences. Yeah, you used to be a nurse too, so. Yeah, so we already got that in common. Mm -hmm. She feels safe enough to... Not only tell us about Dr. Xavier. <laughs> I like how we're calling him that now. <laughs> but she's also telling her about her previous life as a stripper. That's sensitive information. Not many people would just open up. She didn't up. say she was a stripper, but someone she lives with is a stripper. Ah, okay, well still, that's sensitive information. She's she opening up with up. Her, her private life with mm -hmm. us. She's telling us about uh, her feelings as a nurse and all this stuff and uh, other people she sees in the ward this is good yeah we're making good progress in this yep. dating sim we're gonna have to continue this a little more sensitive so let's go on see what i said earlier about you want to reference what they said before mm -hmm. like if they mention something bring it up again later so that mm -hmm. they know you were listening yeah. so she mentioned dr xavier <laughs> i'm gonna be like Hey, when you told me about Dr. Xavier, can you tell me more about him? And she'll be like, wow, you were listening and you're interested in what I have to say. Yeah, there's tell bring it up. More about See, you Dr. don't want to ask about the daughter. His don't always bring Xavier it back to you. Yeah. If you always talk about yourself, they're going to feel excluded. You're not often. interested in me. Okay, Usually I'm leaving. Afternoon, no, you want to you wanna connect it back to I stuff they said. I personally really like him. Mm -hmm. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some that doctors won't even say hello to you, true, but Dr. X Possibly, usually yeah. stops and asks how I am. 
He knows I have some. Oh, he's gonna attack weapons. her. He can see I'm he's not gonna a make a move he on her. It's not gonna be three weekly pleasant. sessions. I think I might take him up and his Oh offer. no. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah. They say. Oh, okay, see. I picked up on this Mrs. right away, ladies. Mrs. Patience. He doesn't care. Ladies, as no, this is a huge skirt. red flag. She's not wearing One a skirt, girl though. I knew. You Linda, gotta. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. You gotta, you gotta notice oh, these red flags right away. And I never saw her again. Liz, you are in now, danger. Now, why do you think that is? Mm -hmm. Doctor X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet it'd be okay. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh,